Hey, welcome back to the channel. Let's talk about five new insane AI tools launched last week that will change how we use the internet. First up, we have a new drop by Google. It's called Google Finance. It's like ChatGPT, but for finance bros or like anyone who's into stocks. So it looks like a dashboard where you can build the watch list of all the stocks you wanna track. You get a quick glance summary of what's happening in the market. You can go to Europe, Asia, currencies, crypto, futures, and you have latest updates showing up right away. But the fun part is it's like ChatGPT, but for finance news. For example, I can ask any question I want. For example, uh, why is gold prices going so up lately? Now the tool will research all the market news related to the topic and bring back the answer. For example, here we have gold prices have been on a significant upward trend lately with the price exceeding $3,600 an ounce. Some analyses suggesting the possibility of continued rises. And here we're getting into the several factors that are resulting in the price surge along with the chart we're getting. And it's showing all the sources it's using to come up with a summary. So it's essentially like a free research tool for stock market analysis. Let's try something fun. Since AI is on the rise and it requires a lot of energy. Are there any stock recommendations for companies that would benefit from this increased energy demand? Let's see what happens. Okay, we have some stock recommendations based on our thesis. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. This is just a tool. Please exercise your due diligence and don't trust it blindly. Let's move on. The second tool is called Mirage by Captions, which will make you question the influencers or ads you see online. It's basically a tool for creating AI actors, so you can go from your ideas to videos super quickly. It's meant for people who wanna have a face on their social media or for their ads without actually hiring a human actor because it is a lot cheaper. Here's what some of the demos look like. I low-key love when people think I'm AI generated. <laughs> Someone commented on my post the other day, look at the hands, and it genuinely made my day. This is not a drill. Sculpt is now on sale. Every single day, Millions of plastic straws end up in our oceans. If you're a business, you're a brand, you're creating content, you don't have budget to hire human actors, or you feel afraid to put yourself on camera, this is the tool that you could use to start creating those video ads. So you can start creating talking content or talking ads for social media a lot faster and a lot cheaper. What you're gonna do is either upload your audio recording, generate a new script or just paste the script that you want. Then pick one of these predefined actors or you can create your own by just typing the prompt. Maybe you want a woman in a car wearing a certain color of sweater or whatnot. And boom, you can start generating a video. Here's a super quick one I just generated recently. I don't think they're ready for it. I know a lot of you might be thinking it still looks like AI. But like, think about what these videos look like like in a year ago. Like in a year from now, these will be quite realistic and you wouldn't be able to tell what's real and what's not. And it's kind of scary to be honest. Like when I'm scrolling internet right now, sometimes I'm actually questioning if what I'm watching is a real person or not. And the fact that I have to question it, pretty much tells like how close we're getting to kind of making them feel a lot more real. This is one of the species I feel a bit conflicted about. On one hand, you know, I can leverage this to create a lot more content and scale, not this channel, always gonna be me. But at the same time, I feel like, you know, I'm competing with not just other creators, but also with all these AI avatars who can programmatically create scripts, create videos, and like do a whole bunch of content at scale. Anyway, different rant, different rabbit hole. Let's move on to the next tool. On the same topic of uh, like generative experiences, Microsoft Copilot dropped a new tool called Audio Expressions. Instead of creating videos, this kind of helps you create the voiceovers. Maybe you want to create an audiobook. You're doing some creative project and you need a voiceover. All you got to do is just pretty much either you can start with uh, enhancing your words with emotion. You can go for story or you can go for scripted. So scripted would pretty much like, you know, the narration would be exactly what you type, but we can look at the story example here. Tell me a cozy fairy tale story and you can pick one of those voices here and then uh, let's just like generate and see what happens. In a cozy little village nestled between rolling hills lived a young girl named Ilara. She loved exploring the nearby forest. Oh, how I adore the beauty of this place. I wish to... Interesting. Well, let's try something else. Uh, we're gonna change the voice to, I don't know, oak, deep, dynamic American accent. Tell me a funny story about a washed up Shakespearean actor. So again, like with the story mode, what's happening is we're just giving it a prompt and it's first creating whatever story it needs to create. In a dimly lit theater, a washed up Shakespearean actor named Sir Reginald stumbled through the final rehearsal of a grand play. I and then based on that story, like based on that script, it's generating internally, it's just like, you know, doing the narration. Uh, if you wanna be very specific to what you wanna be, like, you know, you want your narration for, 
again, you can just kind of like pick the exact script uh, and then you can pick your style and you can pick your voice. It's kind of like uh, Microsoft's competitor for Eleven Labs. I don't know why they launched this tool and where they want to go with it because it is part of like their Copilot branding. But it'll be interesting to see uh, what happens with this experimental project that they just launched. Moving on, uh, next tool is called AlphaSense. I feel like this is the tool that has the potential to shake up the whole corporate consultant industry. It's basically deep research, but it's not just accessing different Reddit conversations or what's happening on the social media or like Google articles. It's deep researching apparently over 500 million premium financial and business documents. So those are the documents I would imagine this company has access to. So they're able to train or even reference those documents while doing the research. So if you wanna hire a consultant to help you identify which company a bigger company should acquire, the consultants will come in, they will charge you like, I don't know, $2,000 an hour. They will have subscriptions to like Bloomberg. They will go through the report, gather the analysis and present back to your report. That's gonna cost you like a million dollars. Or you can use this tool and you can just search up the query based on what you wanna research and it's gonna reference those documents and kind of bring the report for you all done using AI. Again, I just wanna preface this by saying that I've not tested this tool myself. I don't know what the pricing looks like, even though there's a free trial you can start with, but it seems like it's gonna be more enterprisey, and I really don't have a use case for this right now. But it's a tool that just dropped recently, and I think it's super useful if it's actually accurate. So I wanted to share this with you because this is maybe something you need. Maybe not today, but maybe tomorrow. All right, let's move on to the next one. So Hicksfield, for those who don't know, so it's kind of like a platform with a bunch of different AI image and video models combined into one with a bunch of pre-built workflows so you don't have to do a lot of prompting. They just launched this new feature called Apps, which is essentially the presets for AI videos. You know, like all these AI videos are kind of hard to do because they're so creative and like in getting all the prompting is a lot of hard work. So here, if you go to Hicksfield Apps, you have like all these pre-built templates for a bunch of AI videos. Here we have ASMR host. Hello there. I'm so glad join me tonight for this relaxing session we have like a vfx video like this one here's an example of a product being held in a billboard ad bit of a tongue twister so if you're looking for a creative video hook or a creative video ad you can pick one of these templates you can upload yourself or your product photo and it'll be replaced in the video so with mirage and with these ads i feel like all the ads we're going to see in the future they're going to be creative at least visually but they're also going to be ai generated so out of like all the tools that dropped last week i thought these five were the most impressive ones so i wanted to share on the channel anyway i will see you next week with another recap for top tools